so it's begun. We are preparing for our road trip to Quebec. The house is in shambles. We are starting to pack the dog. We need to get to doggy daycare, I guess, as of tomorrow morning. And the truck that we're taking with Ford Canada gets delivered today. But let me just show you guys what our house looks like. ATM. Yeah, we need to organize that. What's up guys? So I've been running around this house all day, uh, taking probably 1800 hours to pack um, because I think I need that much time. I um, overpack and usually, First woman. <laughs> uh, I usually end up, what, bringing probably half my clothes back clean yeah, you wear like seven different, or no, you wear <laughs> one shirt for seven days. <laughs> Whatever, you know what she's saying. Uh, yeah, but can I just say, Rob, don't mind her messy desk, but Rob is actually trying to get me to pack one suitcase with all of my stuff for five days including all of the kids stuff for five days and then he's thinking he can bring two bags packed my bags are little they're just they're just itty bitty bags <laughs> uh anyway uh been running around getting ready for this trip to quebec city uh super pumped for it we're heading out tomorrow morning well tomorrow around noon after we take zeus to the kennel um for the first time it's got katie a little nervous it's got me a little nervous um but uh anyway uh he's going into trusted hands i'm gonna flip this phone around because there what's up uh he's going into trusted hands and um you know helen and richard katie's parents are close by if anything happens um but about this trip, something I'm super excited about. Uh, it's an opportunity that Katie and I uh, have been working on for about a month now. And we, uh, during the process, we uh, were able to, uh, unbeknownst to us, start planning things with my brother and his family. Because uh, funny story is when we originally reached out to uh, him, because he lives in Moncton, as a, maybe like a pit stop on our drive. He said, yeah, no problem. Uh, and before I had said anything about where we're going or why we were coming, uh, he said, yeah, no problem, but uh, we're leaving pretty early the next morning for Quebec City. So all that being said, uh, through our partnership with Ford and the opportunity of being able to do this, um, is that better? I don't know. Anyway, uh, all through those opportunities, uh, we then started to plan pretty much our entire weekend together with their family. And it's something that we haven't been able to do together as families and something my brother and I haven't been able to do since we were little kids traveling with my mom. And uh, that's, that's another person. Uh, who's also coming along with us is my mother. Uh, we were able to um, convince her <laughs> to come for the trip. And uh, I think it's it's going to be a really good time, really good opportunity, and really excited about uh, everything we're going to be getting into. So it's the morning of us leaving. I'm still in my PJs. We have been packing nonstop. But life of a blogger means that I still had deadlines to do, so I had to whip this up for a campaign I'm working on, shoot it, and we leave in an hour and a half, and I now need to pack and get ready for five days. But we're gonna eat it up, aren't we, bubs? Yeah. So, we're one step closer to leaving. This little guy is about to go boarding for the very first time. Hey, Zeus. And he's nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not as nervous, but I'm it's, nervous because Katie's nervous. Well, it's just, it's kind of like a kid. And you're leaving them at daycare for the very first time, but overnight for five days. 
Oh well. Oop, there's his bum. Okay. There you go, pop pop. Okay guys, we are about halfway to Moncton now. That's where we're stopping for the day. And just like last night, I'm eating a burger. That's true. Um, we're stopping at Rob's brothers who lives just outside of Moncton. And we're gonna spend the night there and then we are going to wake up bright and early and hit the road to Quebec. Everybody's super happy. We just got McDonald's. Poppy just woke up from an hour and a half nap. And the cool thing about this Ford Explorer is that it actually has built-in uh, video in the headrests. So Aubrey's got Aladdin on because he's obsessed. Welcome to the future. <laughs> And uh, it's definitely making it a little bit more quiet in here than the first round of the trip without it. So thank you for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is so loud. We're in space. It's like we're in space. It's like those uh, alien movies we've been watching recently. So this is the Nova Scotian and New Brunswick border. Poppy says. What do you think, Bubs? Am I, what is the thing called again what makes them go? The wind? The wind goes. The wind makes them turn around and produce electricity. For oh, and power. what is that thing up there next to it? That's the pole that holds them, Bob. Maybe yeah. some lights so that people don't fly into them. So it's trip eve, similar to Tibbs eve, because there's a couple drinks of whiskey happening. Uh, Tony, having yeah. a beverage? Yeah, buddy. Why are you so fuzzy? Having a beverage? Because there's low light. Anyway, we're sitting here just relaxing. We're going to be getting up probably 4, 4.30 tomorrow morning to hit the road. Um... Not looking forward to that aspect, but looking forward to uh, getting to Quebec City and having some fun. Okay, it is 5.12 in the morning. Mm -hmm. We are in the McDonald's drive-thru. I don't know if you can see everybody, but we're all awake. We're all ready to get to Quebec already. Oh, and here's our food. And watch out for the mice. Watch out for the mice. Because mice is the opposite of a mouse. Or are you trying to do plural moose? Got it. They go to Tim Hortons. They go to McDonald's. They go to the memories. Stand up. And they go to the memories. Hey, Poppy. Poppy, where are we? Close enough till we get in the car. Close enough till we get in the car. Thank you, and I've got your milk, okay? Hi from Woodstock. Hi from Woodstock. Pardon us, Paul. Sun's in her face. Yeah, I know. We just stopped at the Tim Hortons at Woodstock, and we've got about two and a half hours down of a seven hour drive today. Yep, should be in Quebec by 2, 2.30. 2 at the latest. Man, my beard's looking woolly. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned. <laughs> About to head over the world's longest covered bridge. Here we go. Echo! <laughs> 
Do you hear your echo? Echo! <laughs> no. Echo! Echo! You call her hello. Echo! Hello! Oh, I heard it! That's not funny. Sheboygan. Is that what it's called? No. Anyways, we're meeting up with Rob's brother and his family in Edmonston. And then we've got about three hours till we get to where we're going. Yaha! Woo! Road trip's going pretty good so far. Only a few meltdowns, but they did happen. Dilly dilly! officially are in Quebec and everybody's happy, right? Yes. Eating. Happy. Eating always makes everybody happy. Katie Rose, you want some Just a little bit of views. No, it goes the other way, honey. Silver goes I don't know if you guys yeah. can see, but that is a massive lake. And it's so pretty. I'm turning around. We were right, here years ago and it was the summer and it's kind of cool to see it in the winter too isn't it yep. I brought some extra hats. Couple, couple extra hats in the bag. They're already spoken for. <laughs> Katie forgot hers. I've got mine on. My mother <laughs> went and used clothing shopping. Bought a children's hat to bring along. She's like, it was brand new with tags on and everything. <laughs> children's size large. My mom, Steven, in the back. Filming that joke on camera. <laughs> oh, those were the police. Uh, That's Steven. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. This is good. Okay, guys, we have just arrived to our house for the weekend. It's that bad boy. How beautiful is that? Alright, so here we are at our Airbnb in Quebec. <laughs> Our dining room, patio that we can't uh, really get into, but maybe we'll shovel it out. A little bit of the view. Living room, Katie and sweet baby girl. Chill out nook. The rest of the view. Quebec City off in the distance there.
Sorry for the movement. Tony? <laughs> a little master bedroom and the master bath. So we are in the car again. What's this up guys? We've picked up one of the nieces and we are about to head on the ferry from Levi in Quebec over to Old Quebec City. We're pumped. We're going to spend the day exploring Old Quebec and seeing the sights and there's about the perfect amount of snow falling here right now. That is making it really pretty as opposed to dirty. Yeah. 